for us to find a closed formula for the generating function for n greater than or equal to one. We are given g of x equals three x divided by the quantity one minus two x plus five divided by the quantity one minus x. To determine the closed formula for the generating function, we'll first determine the sequence for three x divided by the quantity one minus two x, then determine the sequence for five divided by the quantity one minus x, and then hopefully determine a formula for the sum of the two sequences. To begin, let's write three x divided by the quantity one minus two x as three x times one divided by the quantity one minus two x. From here, the infinite series for one divided by the quantity one minus two x can be found by substituting two x for x in the generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus x. Performing this substitution gives us three x times one plus two x plus two x to the fourth plus eight x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now from here, we would normally distribute the three x, but in this case, let's just distribute the x. This will help us determine the formula later. Distributing just the x, we have three times the quantity x plus two x squared plus three x cubed plus eight x to the fourth plus dot dot dot. Inside the parentheses, the corresponding sequence is zero, one, four, eight, and so on, but we're looking for the closed formula when n is greater than or equal to one, and the term zero is the a sub zero term, so we'll go ahead and drop that term, and the sequence is three, six, 12, 24, and so on, after distributing the three. And again, notice a sub one is equal to three. And now to determine the sequence for five divided by the quantity one minus x, we should recognize this is just going to be five times the generating function for the constant sequence of ones, but I'll go ahead and show some work. We can write the quotient as five times one divided by the quantity one minus x, and one divided by the quantity one minus x is equal to one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot dot. Distributing the five, notice how we have a constant sequence of fives where a sub one is five. So again, now our goal is to determine a closed formula in which the result are the terms of the sequence that is the sum of these two sequences. To help us do this, I have listed the two sequences on the far right. The third sequence is the sum of the two sequences. To determine a closed formula for the terms of the desired sequence, we need to find the sum of the closed formula for the terms of the first sequence and the second sequence, which is one of the reasons why I left the equation over here on the far left in this form, where we have three times the sequence zero, one, two, four, eight, and so on, though we don't care about the zero, notice these are powers of two which means the closed formula for three, six, 12, 24, and so on is gonna be three times two raised to some power, and then the closed formula for the terms of the constant sequence of fives is just five, which means the closed formula for the sum of the sequences is gonna be in the form of a sub n equals three times some power of two plus five. Now we just need to make sure we have the correct power on two, and the closed formula ends up being a sub n equals three times two to the power of n minus one plus five. Remember the first term is a sub one, so when n is equal to one, we have three times two to the power of zero, which is three, which is the first term of the first sequence, and then five is the first term of the second sequence, giving us sum of eight. Notice when n is equal to two, we have three times two to the first, which is six, plus five, which does give us 11. This verifies this is the correct closed formula for n greater than or equal to one. I hope you found this helpful.